The costs of hidden debt are well known. Massive amounts of unaccounted public debt can cause a shock to an economy when exposed. Hidden debt can also undermine investor confidence and hamper the ability of governments to provide basic goods and services, such as health, education, and public investment. Hidden debt can also increase the risk of corruption and can affect good governance and accountability. I am Carla Vasquez. And I'm Kika Alexoko, and we work at the IMF's legal department. Together with a team of lawyers, we analyze two key questions. To what degree are domestic legal frameworks aligned with international standards for transparency of public debt? And more generally, how can the law support debt disclosure? When it comes to debt, we live in a much more complex world than we did a few decades ago. A diversity of creditors has come into play, and there has been a significant migration to off-balance sheet liabilities and greater risk. New forms of lending are also scaling up, such as commercial and collateralized debt. But is debt transparency keeping up with this increasingly complex landscape? We analyzed various legal frameworks regarding debt transparency in 65 countries across five continents with diverse income levels. Our findings reveal that full implementation of international standards is lagging across the globe. And this is especially true for low-income nations and developing economies. We found several common problems contributing to the lack of debt transparency. First, existing legal frameworks have few provisions for disclosure and reporting requirements. Look at the green bars. In this graph, which show the different reporting requirements and the number of countries in our study following that practice. But now, look at the red bars, which indicate areas that don't have reporting requirements in the law. As you can see, very few laws require disclosure of debt management operations and fiscal and statistical debt information. Second, even if reporting is required, the legal definition of public debt can be too narrow. Of the country laws we analyzed, 43% only covered central government debt. What this means is that agencies outside of this definition, such as state-owned enterprises, subnational governments, and extra budgetary funds, aren't required to meet the same transparency and reporting requirements, and this in turn causes underreporting. As this chart shows, a third problem is that most countries have a narrow set of debt instruments in their legal definition of public debt, covering mainly securities and loans. This may cause underreporting, especially with complex debt instruments. Another problem is that other supporting legal mechanisms are often weak. The laws are not always clear on such questions as to who is authorized to borrow, who monitors and compiles debt data, and how are risks from guarantees or other contingent liabilities managed. All of this brings challenges in terms of disclosing public debt to the point where a country's true debt position is unclear at best or even unknown. There are two recent trends in debt transactions that have had a major impact on debt transparency. One is collateralization of assets. Out of a pool of thousands of contracts, Collateralization clauses require revenue streams to be put into an escrow account into special funds to guarantee the repayment of debt. In countries with low capacity, these arrangements complicate debt management, reduce budget flexibility, and their operational opacity may hinder debt restructuring efforts. The second trend is the use of confidentiality clauses. We analyze publicly available debt contracts, which reveal that many borrowers are committing to broad confidentiality agreements at the request of lenders. From a public accountability perspective, any legitimate need for confidentiality must be balanced against strong transparency in the public interest. In conclusion, a robust domestic legal framework is critical for debt transparency. Laws should include 
the minimum requirements for timely and accurate disclosure of debt and contingent liabilities, as well as information on policies, strategy, and operations on public debt management. Institutional arrangements should also be in place to ensure proper reporting. The public should have the legal right to demand and receive information, and the legislature should be able to oversee public borrowing. The criteria for what debt information can be withheld from public disclosure, for example, in confidentiality clauses, should be defined and limited by law. More complex debt transactions should be overseen by the Minister of Finance or Parliament and be subject to greater transparency. Debt transparency is fundamental to promote sustainable borrowing because it provides an accurate representation of the government's finances. It also provides the lenders the information needed to make informed decisions, potentially lowering borrowing costs. For these reasons, it is important that countries pursue reform to bring their legal frameworks in line with international standards, to avoid the detrimental effects of hidden debt, and to support public accountability.